morning from Bangkok, Thailand. Today we are going to head to the largest weekend market in all of Thailand. I can't wait to explore it. Let's go! just made it to the Chak Chuk weekend market and this place is huge. There's basically tons and tons of roads and little alleyways and every single place is full of the shops. It's really interesting and it's a lot different than what I expected because these are like actual shops. We thought it was gonna be like little stalls and stuff, but yeah, really cool. Can't wait to explore it more. So I heard that you could pretty much spend the entire day at this market and I totally understand why because we've been here for like 10 minutes maybe and they have so many different types of shops. They got electronic stores, you got clothing stores, you got food stalls, you got dessert places, you got little knickknacks, you can get homeware. It's pretty much everything that you can think of, they have it here. Mm -hmm. And a good thing is we came a bit early mm -hmm. so it's not too crowded yet so we can kind of take it at our own pace mm -hmm. and just explore. explore. Yeah, really nice. Always coming soon. What do you mean always coming soon? It's always to be continued. Never appearing. You know, I've been going to the gym like every single day since we've been here in Bangkok, so... Yeah, that's true. Maybe this time it'll happen. But then again, I've also been eating a lot of food since we've been in Bangkok, so... And beer. And beer. Yeah. But it's just so good. We just found a map of the market and when you see the map you realize just how big this place is yeah, and it's kind of split up into like different areas. I don't know if we're going to be able to see everything but we're going to try to see lots of it. So we're not really big on souvenir shopping so honestly when we came to this market we thought we probably wouldn't buy anything but the one thing that we do like buying sometimes is spices and Sandy found this nice little stand that's selling a bunch of spices so I think we might pick some stuff up or in Sandy's case we might pick a lot of stuff up. I want to get the papaya syrup sauce, the calfoy and tum yum paste and also this tum yum herbs. I don't really know the difference like do I need both or just one? Got my spices. I baked all of them. I'm excited. I think we're currently in like the craft section right now. There's a lot of artisan goods. Very cool. So we've been at this market for a few hours I think now and we need to find some food because I'm getting very hungry. We're on the hunt. We got our first food here which is pork meatballs with a spicy sauce. It was like 35 baht and you got seven of them. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Ah, that was really good. Has like a nice porky flavor and the sauce is so good. It's super spicy though. My mouth is on fire. It's also so very chewy, very sweet. Pop it up with the coconut ice cream, it's perfect. Don't eat the bowl before you finish the inside, or else everything will collapse. I got a new phone case. Because my old one was 
starting to feel a little girl like this. It used to be clear. That is now not clear anymore. Yay, I'm so happy. It looks brand new now. I forgot that your phone was the pink one. Yeah, I know. Because it's it? been so gross looking for so long. One thing that we didn't expect is that they have so much art here. There's like paintings, there's like handmade jewelries, there's drawings, there's sculptures. It's really cool. So if you're like into the art scene, this is a pretty cool place to come. And the way that it's all set up is they're almost like little galleries basically. So you can just wander around and actually just check out the art and it's like go into a free art gallery and if you like something, you can buy it. Really cool. It looks like we found the food area here at this market and there is a lot of food. At first, honestly, I was a little disappointed. I was like, oh, there's not that much food here. Yeah. But I guess we just didn't find the food area. There's like a bunch of stalls. We are taking a quick little break because we've been walking in the sun quite a bit and it's time to get something to drink. We found this nice little coffee stand and Sandy got a orange Americano and I got a matcha cocoa milk. <laughs> Looks pretty good. You can see the cocoa and the matcha. I feel like I need to give it a stir first. Oh, that was really good. All of the cocoa stuff here in Thailand has been really nice. It actually like tastes like cocoa and it doesn't taste like that fake chocolate. Nestle stuff. Oh, that was very nice. Also, Sandy went to go find us some snacks and she'd been gone a while. Oh, I think I see her coming. There she is. Let's see what she got us. What did you give her us? I got beef steers. Mmm. And. Ooh, spicy sauce. Thai sausage. Ooh, anti sausage. Yeah. We're excited for this. Alright, let's give this uh, meat a try. It looks really good. It's like glistening. And I waited for about five minutes because uh, she was just cooking them. Mm. So it should be nice and hot. It's very hot, very fresh. The perfect amount of chewiness. Mm. Like not chewy, but also like not like it has that beefy beefiness too, which I like. How's the sauce that she gave us? Really good. It's pretty similar to that spicy sauce that we had on our meatballs earlier. Mm. Pretty similar. I think it's like a pretty common like spicy like sauce here. Thai style chili sauce mm -hmm. kind of thing, right? Yeah. Oh, really good though. And it was really cheap, I think. Sandy Six. said it was 60 for five of them. 60 bucks for five. So that's like two US dollars probably. Like right. 220 Canadian. Uh -huh. Another thing I always wanted to try is the Thai sausage sticks. And I finally got it today. So excited for it. Here you go. It's very garlicky. I feel like the sausage is stuffed with a lot of meat. More than it should. So it feels very packed together. Feels that a lot of chewy texture. Real good. Sausage time. Mmm! Oh, it's very good. It's very similar to like Taiwanese sausage. It's not like North American sausage at all. I get what Sandy means. It's like there's like a lot of meat. It feels like dense, but in a good way. Very delicious. So since Sandy's been buying a bunch of stuff all day long, I decided to buy a t-shirt. It's pretty funny, I like it. <laughs> it's like a french fries Jason <laughs> uh, hunting down a, pe a potato. And it was only, I think, oh uh, yeah, a hundred bucks, so that's like $4 Canadian. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Yeah. After about five hours of wandering around, we are all done with this amazing weekend market. 
It was so much fun. There was so much to see. And we actually did a lot of shopping. Yeah, you and I bought some stuff. I know. Sandy bought a lot more though. Of course. That was expected. <laughs> Anyways, I think we're going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give it a like and comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you guys in the next time. Bye! Later!